Hello everybody and welcome to Mondoid, your one-stop shop for all things Project Zomboid. And this week, little green dot versus the evil red dots. Actually, some news that is going to be very exciting for a lot of you. And for those who are interested in how it works, I suggest coming to read this blog yourself. There is some NPC news to go down. Now, I may or may not know about some little things here and there due to just being able to talk to the developers, um, but there is some cool NPC news going on as of right now. So there's a video here that I suggest you guys come watch to see how it all works. Uh, but that's kind of the focus of the blog this week is NPCs. Lemmy has been making massively big strides towards NPC completion or at least some sort of implementation into the current game and from what i can say is me personally what i know about and all that stuff is very promising and what they show here is even more promising it's very exciting so first and foremost, they talk about kind of what it takes, what what's getting done, the brains of the NPCs, how they're being tweaked, how they're being made. Um, and one of the biggest things that NPCs need to be able to do is they need to act realistically, right? They need to not make stupid decisions that are just going to get them killed. That was one of the bigger problems in the earlier implementation of NPCs within the game itself. They were kind of dumb. They were just walking and running zombies that use shotguns instead of bitch you. And for the most part, they had some basic... Uh, maneuverability, uh, but didn't really appear as though that they were truly focusing on their own self-preservation all that much. They made terrible mistakes. They made noise and it was, when it was stupid. They got themselves caught in bad corners all the time. So obviously, before they want to put NPCs in, back in the game again, they want to make sure that they are going to be behaving properly. And the video here is an example as to some of the improvements that they have made on NPC behavior, particularly uh, smart movement. So in this video, you're basically seeing a bunch of red dots. Those are the zombies in the game. And there's a green dot. That is the NPC survivor. And they, he is trying to get to the blue dot within the game. Now, the blue dot for right now can represent anything. Um, as of right now, though, what they're saying is that blue dot can be pretty much anything from their safe house. From my understanding, their safe house to loot running to whatever. It's just their end goal at the time of the AI making that decision. So what they need to do now is get around or by the red dots without getting killed. And the number in the left-hand corner is any time the NPC gets within scratching range. So the very first time they ran this uh, this kind of experiment or this, this program or this code, the NPC over hit within scratching range over 1,000 times in about 60 seconds. That's broken as all hell. That means they would have gotten themselves scratched, killed so many times throughout the entirety of the trip. In this video, it happens zero times in three minutes and 27 seconds, meaning the AI is moving intelligently, making correct decisions on not to get killed. So to watch the AI in action is actually kind of fascinating. It's always fascinating for me to see these, this, this kind of code come to life. That was one of my favorite things about going to school for computer programming was once you got the code working to see, and, and bug free to watch it just kind of come to life and do its own thing. I never really got to do much AI programming or any of that stuff. So to see it, uh, you know, this kind of this base level, this AI programming coming to life and, do, and acting like it should be uh, is really exciting for me. And more importantly, it's exciting for the Project Zomboid game just because it means NPCs are that much closer. So watching the NPCs see carefully avoid the red dots which represent zombies and not get within scratching range of those zombies is incredibly impressive the other thing to talk about is what ai is able to do right now um they hint that it might already be able to chop logs and stuff and use a saw uh it can use backpacks appropriately it can do crafting and stuff and now uh, the ai when it needs something it will check everything it will check its backpack it will check the cabinets nearby basically everywhere the item could be and then go looking for it if they can't if they don't have it and then if they uh, have the materials to craft it, they can craft it and they can make the item that they need. So basically what they say is that the AI is capable of surviving and not just being stupid. That's exciting and I'm really happy to see that in, in, in place. Other things they talk about is map expansion. Excuse me. Uh, the development of the map is ongoing. It's going at a nice pace. It's got Binky, Mash, and Ringo all working at it, and it's really exciting to see that it's it's expanding at such a rapid pace now. I really feel like that uh, development for this game is super in like high gear at this point. It's always been in high gear, but a lot of that high gear development was the re-implementation of the new engine. Now that the new engine's in and we got a lot of the basics back into the game, um, 
just it really, it really feels like we're at Mach 3, kind of just blasting through and, and doing the development that needs to be due. Um, due to the large number of infected types and congregate there early. And so basically talking about things that they're creating, a new inhospi hospitable due to large number of infected types that congregate there. Uh, I wonder if it's a hospital and all kinds of really fun things. So we're looking at a new part of the map already well in development and three people working on it's ridiculous. And last but not least, they take, they kind of boost um, a couple of games that are being developed right now. Mighty Tactical Shooter is being kickstarted. Go guys, check that out. And Red Solstice is also being uh, on sale on Steam. It was a kickstarted game, if I believe correctly. I've played Red Solstice. It's actually pretty fun. Uh, I would suggest checking it out. Uh, and that is it. I would suggest coming here, reading the blog for yourself, watching that video. It is an exciting vlog or blog this week. The Mundoid is a great one. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, and if you're one of those once a weekers, I will see you next week. If you're a regular, I will see you later today. And as always, I will see all of you next time. Bye-bye.